Hello, this is Rob here from robcabin.com. Now I've already shown you in another video how to load the awesome WPML, that stands for WordPress Multilingual Plugin, in order to make your WordPress website multilingual. So if you can see on this site, you go to the About page, you can see a German flag up there, which when you click on it, that gives you the German translation of that page and you click on it again, it's the English flag and then you see the page back in English again. Now if I go to the dashboard and under pages, here you see the about page and you'll see that squiggle there, it means that the German translation is done. In order to get that plugin, if you like, you can get it through my affiliate link. Just go to robcubbon.com forward slash go forward slash WPML and you can purchase the plugin there. Back to the pages, I'll just show you again how easy this plugin is to use. Here's the contact us page. As you can see, there's no translation for this. If we go to the English contact us page, there it is, there's no flags up here. So all we've got to do is let's pretend we're creating a French contact us page. As you can see, you've got the French flag up now, so now we know it's the French contact us. I'll call it contact French and put some gibberish in there. As you can see, it's given us the URL, it's put an FR in there. So we'll publish that and refresh the English contact us page and there is the French flag so we can click on that and there we get our gibberish contact us page in French. Okay, so all well and good, we can translate any page or blog post in this way. All we have to do is create another page, another URL, give it the translation and we've got a multilingual website. However, here on this Munich page, this is in English, this is a page in English about their Munich office. Obviously there is a German translation there, which explains about their Munich office in German. Unfortunately, all these widgets are still in English. So there's a Facebook and a Twitter, and this company has a German Twitter account, so that doesn't work. Also, follow us is in English, it's not in German. So I'm going to show you how to do that now. Firstly, I'm going to go into Appearance Widgets and I'm just going to show you in the header right, I have a text widget and here I have a bit of PHP that ensures that the custom language selector appears on the pages that have been translated but not on the front page. You can just slip in a custom language selector widget that comes with WPML in there and that will get you your language switcher up the top here. So that's the language switcher. However, we've got all these widgets in the primary sidebar that need to be translated as well. And this is how you do it. You need to load another plugin called Widget Logic. So let's go to Plugins, Add New, and search for Widget Logic. There it is. We'll install now and activate plugin. So now we have the Widget Logic plugin activated. Now when we go to Appearance Widgets and open up a widget, you'll see the last field in it is called Widget Logic. That's the same for all widgets now. And what that does is it means you can enter some PHP which will determine where that widget is displayed. So I've got some PHP code here that I will paste underneath this video that makes sure that the widget will only display on the English pages. So we'll save that. So I put that in this widget, which is the social icons widget, and we're in the German page. So if I refresh that, this should disappear now. There it is, the German page, it's gone. The social icons have gone, they've disappeared. And if we click on the UK flag and go back to the English page, there is the English page and the social icons widget is now displaying. So now we know how to get that widget to display. All we've got to do is get another one, copy that widget, put the title in German and add all the German social media profiles in order to make this a fully German translated widget. So just give me a sec and I'll do that. Okay, so here is my German social icons. I've got the title in German and I've copied all the colors correctly and I've entered the correct links. There is the German Twitter link 
And at the bottom, the all-important widget logic is ICL language code DE. And DE is the German. If that was the English, it would be EN. So I'll save that. And we'll go back to the Munich page. There, we'll refresh that. This is the English page. OK, so we've done that. And it hasn't changed. It's follow us. And we've got the UK widgets there, the UK social icons. We'll go to the German page. And there we are. The widget has changed its title. We are linked through to the German Twitter feed and another successful translation of an area of the website with the amazing WPML WordPress multilingual plugin. With the help of the free widget logic plugin, we can translate any part of a website to create a beautiful fully functioning, totally multilingual website. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that. This has been Rob from robcoven.com. Goodbye.